So in the previous video I explained that if we're going to be approximating a binomial distribution using a normal distribution, we're going from a discrete distribution to a continuous one. And subsequently, we've got to go through a continuity correction in order to make it work. So, what you've got to imagine is that the discrete distribution, the binomial distribution, is like um, our lines, okay? And now imagine it like a bar chart, okay? Where each of the numbers is centered at a bar. So, if I want to find, so let's say I've got my bar looking like this. Okay, so let's say I've got three, four, five, let's have two as well, here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, I'm not worried about the heights of the bars, okay, so I'm just going to put them all at generic height, so here's two, there's two, there's three, there's four, five, six, seven, there's eight, okay? So, think of each one of these as uh, a single bar uh, going up, okay? Right, now if I want the probability that x is equal to three, then x equals three is all of this bar, the area of that bar. Each of these bars reaches to halfway between the next. So, this would be the same as saying for continuous, I want from 2.5 up to 3.5. So 2.5 up to 3.5. If I want greater than 4, right, that means in, in binomial terms, 5 or more. So I want to go up to 5 or more. So that would be there, wouldn't it? Right? So that would be from 4.5 and up, okay? So think of 5 as the bar, and then look at the lower boundary, which is at 4.5, and work your way up. So this would be the probability of x being greater than 4.5 in continuous form. For greater than or equal to 5, right? So I want greater than or equal to 5. So from that point, well, sorry, not from that point, greater than or equal to 5, so I want 5 and up. So actually, I want from that line there, the 4.5 mark again. So these two are asking for the same thing, okay? Because they would be the same thing in binomial terms, so they're the same thing in continuous form. Greater than 4 is 5 or more. I don't mean it to rhyme, but it just did. It came out that way. Right, probability of x being less than 6. OK, so here's 6. So I want less than 6. I want 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. OK, so less than 6, so that would be there and down. So that's at the 5.5 .5 mark. So this would be the probability of x being less than 5.5. .5. Probability of x being less than or equal to 7. So less than or equal to that value, okay, from that bar downwards. So I'm including the bar, and so I would be from that point downwards. So it's at the 7.5. So that's the probability of x being less than 7.5 for that one. Now, how about this one? So let's draw 9. So x is greater than 8, but less than or equal to 9. So I want 9, okay, but x is greater than 8. So in binomial terms, that would just be talking about um, x equals 9. That would be the same probability. And so here, it's just talking about from 8.5 up to 9.5. For 10 uh, to 11, inclusive, now imagine 10, so that go is a bar that goes from 9.5 to 10.5. I want that bar, so I'm going from 9.5 up to 11, but I want the bar of 11, which ends at 11.5. Okay? 
And so that is how we can do this continuity correction. Imagine those discrete terms as bars and thinking about the area between halfway down and halfway up. Okay, that's the easiest way to remember this and to practice it.